Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand what is the meaning of projection and what are the types of projection we have and what is orthographic projection in advance because in engineering drawing orthographic projection is very important to understand. So first we are going to understand what is the meaning of projection and what are the types of projection and what are the requirements to have the projection of any object. So this is the meaning of projection. Projection technique is used to graphically represent 3D objects on 2D media. Uh, and 2D media can be any. It can be paper, it can be a computer screen. And to make a projection of any object, we need a two variables. First is line of sight and another is plane of projection. Plane of projection means where you have to project your line of sight. So with the help of examples, we will understand these two things. So what is line of sight? Line of sight is an imaginary ray of light between an observer's eye and an object. And what is plane of projection? It is also imaginary flat plane made of transparent glass. Please note it is a transparent glass on which image is created. So there are two types of line of sights. First is parallel and another is converge line of sight. The image is produced by connecting the points where the LOS or the line of sight cuts the plane of projection. So let's see these both things with the help of simple example. So we have a simple object over here and this is a 3D object. And this is a plane of projection. This is a transparent glass. And when I see from here, let us suppose the observer is here. Observer is here and watching the object from here. And in between, we have a plane of projection. So whatever the line of sight means when line of sight goes to here, okay, means when observer watches from his eye and when see the object from here, this plane line of sight, this is a line of sight and these are parallel, exactly parallel towards the eye of the observer. That's why it is called a parallel line of sight. From every vertex or every corner of the object, I have a line of sight towards the plane of projection. So you can also see that from this vertex, I have a line of sights towards the plane of projection in the same way from here, from this vertex towards the plane of projection, my line of sight. And again, from this vertex, I have a line of sight towards the plane of projection. So now to make a complete projection of my this 3D object on plane of projection, I just meet the points like this with the help of scale and pencil. So this is my parallel line of sight. Now what is converge line of projection? So again we have a same 3D object and for projection I need a plane. So this is a plane of projection. I of the observer is here and it makes a projection on this plane. You can see that it is not a parallel. Now it is converging to one point and that one point is the eye of the observer. From every vertex I have a line of sight but which is a converging to one point that is eye of an observer. In the same way from this vertex also and in the same way from this vertex also. And in the same way from all the vertexes we have a line of sight but it will be converging to one point that is the eye of an observer. So now I am going to meet the points where it cuts the plane of projection. So that would be a converge projection. So this is the difference between parallel line of sight and converge line of sight. And to make a projection we need only two things that is the plane of projection on which you have to project your projections and another is line of sight, which is an imaginary ray of light from the observer's eye. Now, what are the types of projects? So basically, we have a two types of projections that is perspective and another is parallel. And in the parallel, again, we have a divisions that is oblique and orthographic. So students, this is the orthographic projection, which is an important topic in this video because we are going to understand orthographic projection in this video for the engineering drawing. 
Again, we have a division of orthographic that is the exonometric and multi-view of the projections. So this is a divisions of orthographic. So basically in engineering drawing, we making projections in parallel only because uh, in perspective and oblique, there is a, it is not clearly views of the projections. So we prefer to make the projections in parallel or orthographic views. Again, we are going to understand what is parallel projection and uh, what is uh, converge projection. I already explained this that uh, we have a simple object and when the uh, line of sight is parallel towards the plane of projection that could become a parallel projection like this. Uh, I already explained this and what is perspective projection? Perspective projection is like when we have a converging when we have a eye over here and line of sight will meet at one point like this at particular point that become a perspective projection. It is a, not a clearly projection which gives the complete view of your particular solid. So we are always preferring the parallel projection to make in the engineering drawings. So now we are going to understand in advance what is orthographic projection. So orthographic projection is a parallel projection technique. I already explained in types of projection. It is a, one of the parallel projection technique in which parallel lines of sight. This is LOS parallel are perpendicular towards the projection plane because word orthographic means you can see that what is the meaning of ortho ortho means 90 degree projection should be make at 90 degree at right angles in this example we will understand how it could be a 90 degree so this is the object and plane of projection so this is the line of sight so students you will see that when it will meet at the plane of projection it makes a 90 degree over here in the same way from every vertex you will see that it is a 90 degree. So this is a, another third line of sight. It makes a 90 degree over here in the same way fourth one. So we have a five vertices and five line of sights which will meet plane of projection exactly 90 degree over here. They make 90 degree or right angles at the plane of projection. So whatever the projection we have if it at 90 degree it will show that it is an orthographic projection it, and this is an orthographic projection. Now what is orthographic view? Uh, there are two types of orthographic views. Orthographic projection technique can produce either multi view as the name suggests we have a lot of views to show over particular 3D object means that each view shows an object in two dimensions. And another is exonometric drawing or exonometric view that show all the three dimensions of an object in one view means there is only one view which gives the all dimensions of the object. So this is a difference between exonometric view of objects and multi view objects. So exonometric is a type of orthographic projection for creating a pictorial view of the object where the lines of the sides are perpendicular to the plane of the projection and object is rotated around one or more of its axis to reveal multiple sides. So you can see that this is a one of the cube. Okay. And I will rotate my object at particular view, make a projection on this projection plane. Okay. So you can see that my line of sight are still parallel towards the plane of projection. So this is an observer. Observer is at infinity. Okay, and this is a line of sight from the observer's eye and this is a line of sight from the object and they will meet over here. So this is a exonometric view of the object. But in multi view object, we have a mainly a six views of any object. Each view provides create definite information. For example, front view shows the true shape and size of the surfaces that parallel to the front of the object. So this is a top view. And this is a rear view or back view. You can say that this is a right side view. Okay. This is a left side view. This is a front view and this is a bottom. So we can say that this is a multi view of the object. So when observer is here, it will see the front view. 
when it comes to this side it is the right side see observer comes towards the right of its own so that's why it is a right side view okay when it uh, goes to left side of its own then it will become a left side view of the object and this is a top view and this is a rear view and so, so we have a six views of objects in the multi view in the orthographic projections so basically in orthographic projections we do not make a axonometric views in engineering drawing we make a multi view of the objects and to make a multi view of objects we need some reference planes to make the front view top view side views so orthographic projection would be projected on the reference plane and that reference plane is this one and i already explained this reference plane in another video and the link of that video i already given in the description below please go to that video to understand what is reference plane and what is this first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant and what are these hp vp basically what is vp vp is a vertical plane or hp is a horizontal plane and we have another plane that is a profile plane for the side view and profile plane is not a part of the reference plane basically profile plane is like this we make a simple plane over here pp it is a profile plane to make the side view to understand that particular all the views and profile planes please go to that particular video the link is already given here and different views basically in orthographic projection we make a three views that is front view top view and side view to explain the object clearly because with the help of the three views we can define our object clearly and you can see that front view is always projected on the vertical plane and top view is always projected on the horizontal plane and side view is always projected on the profile plane so students please remember these three things it can be asked in the exams that which view is projected on profile plane so profile plane is used to project the side view only on profile plane we cannot project front view and top view of the 3d object so what are the methods to draw the orthographic projection so there are two methods only first is first angle projection method and another one is third angle projection methods so students we always make drawings in first angle and third angle we do not make drawings in second angle and fourth angle the reason being is it make a complexity in uh, second angle and fourth angle so we will so symbolic representations of both methods with an object standing on hp or ground on its base sometimes this type of questions will come that what is the symbolic representation of the first angle projection so student this is a first angle projection method symbolic representation and this is a third angle so how to draw this third angle and first angle i will explain in the another video so hp term is used in first angle and for the same ground term is used in third angle so this is the one of the important thing that what is the difference between hp and ground plane so sometimes you will face the questions like what is the uh, ground plane and what is the horizontal plane or to understand orthographic projection we need a small example i will take a object over here this is my object i will take a small cuboid and i'm going to make a projection of this cuboid on horizontal plane vertical plane and profile plane means i'm going to make the front view top view and side view of this particular object in first angle projection in this method the object is assumed to be situated in the first quadrant means above hp and in front of vp so whenever my object is above hp and in front of vp it means my object is in first quadrant so these things i already explained in the video in which i am going to explain the what is reference plane please go to that video first and object is always in between observer and plane so for this is a for the front view means uh, observer is here observer is here to make the front view of this object and for the top view observer is again here and for the side view again we have a observer for this view okay so please remember this thing the object is in between observer and the plane 
to make a projection we have a plane of projection this is a plane of projection if we are talking about uh, reference plane this is a vertical plane because i already explained that front view will be observed or projected on vertical plane so you can see that object is in between observer and plane so whenever the observer sees this object the blue part is visible to it because we are observing this object exactly at 90 degree because it is a orthography projection so these are 90 degree these line of sights make a 90 degree over here so this is a line of sights parallel line of sights towards the side and whenever they meet at vertical plane then we will meet these points or vertices that becomes a simple front view in the same way for the top view we have a line of sights from the top towards towards downside to make a top view we need a plane of projection over here and this plane of projection is horizontal plane i already explained and these line of sights meet at over here and it is a 90 degree you can see these because it is an orthographic projection and wherever they meet we are just joining that points that becomes a top in the same way for the side view so you can see that this is a left side view left side view i already explained that this is a left side view we are going to make so observer is here for the front view observer is here it moves toward this side toward its own left hand so that's why it is a left hand side view okay so you can see this the line of sights towards this one this is a profile plane and wherever they meet they make a 90 degree towards this one because it is an orthography projection and we are going to join these vertices that becomes a side view of this particular object so students this is a simple orthographic projection of the particular simple object in first angle projection now we will see that orthographic projection of same object in third angle projection so this is a third angle projection and we have an object like this so in this method object is assumed in third quadrant means below hp and behind vp plane being transparent in between observer and object so remember this thing this is a very important the plane being transparent it is in between observer and object so you can see this this is a ground plane or horizontal plane we have a horizontal plane over here and from downside when we have a line of sights toward the hp means for the top view we have a observer is here okay and horizontal plane in between object and observer means whenever we have a plane in between object and observer we can say that that particular projection is third angle projection and here we have a meeting of the vertices of this particular object for the top view so that becomes a top view in the same way for the front view we have a vertical plane and observer is here now for the front view and line of sights over here they meet over here and whenever they meet it becomes a front view in the same way for the side view we have a plane of projection like this one left hand side view so observer is coming toward this side to see the object from here this is a profile plane so observer is here object is there in between we have a profile plane it means it is a third quadrant or third angle projection so line of sights coming to this side and we have a completion of this particular rectangle so it becomes a side view okay so this is a third angle projection students top view front view and left hand side view so what is this i will explain in the coming videos in which i am going to take uh, some more examples of orthographic projections and clearly i will tell you how to make the orthographic projection with the help of drafter pencil so still if you have any doubts respect to this video please comment in the comment section thank you everyone